it's a piece that touches everyone, I think. And not only because bread is a very uh, uh, common thing for, or common metaphor for, for everybody, but also because it's a piece of art that smells and uh, talk about decay. And uh, it, it's a very poetic piece, but also on a sculptural point of view, I think it's surprising to see uh, using bread to build uh, uh, basically a one-to-one -one house. For him, having an imposed lockdown has meant no visitors, no studio visitors, and in some ways, despite the tragedy of the pandemic, for him, it has been liberating. He has this very intense work ethic, which means that at 87 years old, he still has to go to the studio to make art as long as he is physically fit. So in a sense, the pandemic has been a gift to him to free him from all other constraints and to just say, get on with the work, Frank. A lot of art businesses over the past year and a half have they, they found it difficult. Everyone's found it difficult with the limited, limitations on movement, both of artworks, people. You know, it's an object-based business ultimately. And inability to travel, see pictures, see collectors, see colleagues. It, it's, it, it's put the brakes on the market, certainly last year for you know, the summer months when we were in the depths of COVID. This year, things have loosened up now with the vaccines. People are traveling around a lot more. And I think people have got used to buying unseen in a lot of cases. I know that the galleries have not done any art fairs until this. This is the first in real life art fair that there's been for a lot of people.